What's your advice for another actor that maybe they don't have the formal training, but they know they really want to do this? What would you advise them? What would they be Googling? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, now there's probably, there was probably 900 pages when I Googled. It's probably 9 million now. Uh, so there's much more to weed from, much more opportunity to get caught up in different things. I would just stay, I would say stay in school, stay diligent, uh, go through high school, go through college, and try to look through opportunities after having sort of learned all you can learn and situate yourself and be comfortable before you get into acting. Know that you're doing, there's something else that you could be doing. Know that you have a backup plan because it's a very difficult, tough game to get into. And, and it's tough to maintain even once you're in. So it's not like once, just because you book something means you're going to be working forever. So you have to always keep that hustle up and continue to look for new avenues and know that if this doesn't work, I got something else in the back. If that don't work, I got something else. Have uh, other alternatives as well. And don't focus all your energy on acting would be um, my thing. Did you ever feel pushback from people, from even other actors that maybe they were classically trained and they saw you booking more work and they were like, well, you know, you didn't, you didn't try this technique and, you, and so you could feel that. Maybe yeah. it wasn't even spoken, but. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, it wasn't spoken and was spoken in certain <laughs> um, parts, you know. But um, everybody's got their uh, particular route. But the thing I think is important to be an actor is always keep an open mind, always be willing to learn. And don't reach a point where you feel like I've learned enough and now I don't need to know anything else. Because, you know, your talent will take you so far, but you need to be constantly trying to develop skills and learning how to access these characters and analyze these stories and tell them in the most uh, authentic light. And while your talent will take you a long way, it won't take you to the heights that you want to go because there's a cap, a moment where you're like, well, this is, this is just my talent. So you need to constantly uh, stretch yourself, travel, meet new people, engage in new experiences fearlessly, and sort of download that information into sort of creating what you want to create. Every role is different. So what may work for one role may not work for another and vice versa. Sometimes your talent will be great for a certain role. And then for another role, you have to reach outside the um, uh, sort of boundaries of your uh, natural talent in order to tap into it. Those are things that I find the most rewarding and the most difficult. And they cause me to have to get studious and learn all these things, you know, and get into these different mm, lifestyles and understanding. So always keep an open mind. And I think you can explore and do whatever you need to do. And realize, remember, this game is not a competition. It seems like a competition, but it's not. The only person you're in competition with is yourself. And if you think you can't do a certain thing, you can't. If you think you can, you can. You just got to push yourself.